Hi, my name's Chris. I'm senior local builder here at Roundhouse Engineering. And just tell us about what you do here. Um, we manufacture live steam locomotives um, for 16mm narrow gauge primarily. Um, live steam garden railways and our locomotives are shipped all around the UK and around the rest of the world. And how many different, how many different models do you make? We make about 25 uh, or more than 25 different models covering uh, various different railways from the Welsh Highland Railway um, even to Darjeeling. Uh, at the Indian Hill Railways and many more. So these trains, these are obviously small trains, which gauge you say these were again? Um, these are mainly done on 16mm narrow gauge um, but are well known across um, the hobby for garden railways. Um, all locomotives are running on uh, butane or propane gas to produce the, wa uh, the steam by boiling the water and uh, are all working miniature steam trains. So These trains don't work on, off the tracks, they sort of power themselves? Yeah, none of, none of our locomotives run through a power source through the track. Um, they will either have a battery pack for the diesel locomotives uh, within the locos, or they will be running off of steam. And here at the factory, you build from, from the beginning to the end? We do, yeah. We do as much of our production process as possible in-house. There are some items outsourced, uh, but basically as much as we can is manufactured here on site. We're now down in the main part of the workshop, um, and here we've got Marlu. Marlu's actually assembling the chassis. He's going to put all the valve gear, the wheels, uh, all the uh, motion work together, and then bring the chassis across for a test run. He each chassis then run on air for around eight hours. This helps bed the chassis in before we then assemble the rest of the loco. Bob's currently working on a fowler. Uh, he's just in the process of uh, touching up some screws, uh, a bit of paint work. Um, however, this engine's getting close to its first run and will soon be going on the test track uh, for uh, its first run under steam. Uh, so, I'm Alex Sulford, I'm the Deputy Manager of Roundhouse Engineering. Uh, we've been going since 1982, uh, when the original owners started the company. We've just two lads working out a shed, putting together garden railway locos. And since then, we've grown into a sort of global company, sending out to all parts of the world, uh, with a staff of about 16 and um, yeah we try and produce as much as possible in-house out of our factory in central Doncaster so that we can control quality and maintain the standards that we are known for. Right, we've had a look around the factory it's fascinating, fascinating seeing all the different aspects of it of the train being built you know so it's you know a lot of skilled workers. Yeah um, so that 16 members of staff we have on site they're all specialists in their fields um, what they do really, you don't really see much these days. The hand manufacturing um, is something that uh, you don't quite see a lot of across other fields. But for us, it means that each individual loco gets its own individual attention uh, so that problems can be put right straight away and that we can control the quality of the product uh, to produce a um, high quality finished product. And where do you normally sell these? Is it in the UK or do you also go abroad as well? Um, so we sell these products direct to customers as well as having a number of dealers across the UK as well as in America, Australia, France, the Netherlands, Germany. Um, so people can buy either direct through us or they can buy off the shelf from our dealers uh, whichever is closer to them. But certainly we never mind people coming to us direct, we're always at the end of the phone or at the end of an email.